The myths of different cultures may appear to be diverse and unrelated, but when viewed through the lens of astronomy and cosmology, they reveal a surprising unity and coherence. This quote is from the book Hamlet's Mill by Giorgio de Santillana and Hertha von Deckend. Hamlet's Mill explores the history of human mythological and cosmological thought. The book presents the theory that many ancient myths and legends, such as those found in Greek, Norse, and Hindu mythology, share a common origin and can be traced back to an ancient astronomical astrological language. Key themes of the book include the unity of ancient myths, the connection between astronomy and human consciousness, and the cyclical nature of time and history. The book's central thesis is that many ancient myths and cosmological ideas were created by early humans to explain the movement of the stars and the cycles of the heavens. The authors argue that this knowledge was once part of a common cultural heritage shared by many ancient civilizations, and that it was later lost or obscured over time. The book also explores the idea of a cyclical view of history, which was common in many ancient cultures. According to this view, history moves in repeating cycles, with each cycle marked by the rise and fall of civilizations, the passing of ages, and the renewal of life. Hamlet's Mill is a highly influential work in the field of comparative mythology and cosmology. The book's themes of shared cultural heritage, astronomical knowledge, and cyclical history continue to influence our understanding of ancient cultures and their beliefs. Egyptologist John Anthony West, who wrote the book Serpent in the Sky, saw Hamlet's Mill as a groundbreaking work that challenged many conventional assumptions about ancient history and mythology. He was particularly impressed by the book's exploration of the links between ancient myths and astronomy, and he saw this as a key to understanding the deep symbolism and meaning behind many ancient stories and legends. In Hamlet's Mill, the authors examine a wide range of ancient myths and cosmological ideas from various cultures around the world. These myths and ideas include the Greek myth of the goddess Demeter and her daughter Persephone, which is seen as a reflection of the cycle of the seasons and the movement of the stars. The Norse myth of Ragnarok, which describes the end of the world and the beginning of a new cycle of creation, destruction, and renewal. The Hindu myth of the god Vishnu, who appears in various forms to restore order to the universe and defeat evil. The Egyptian myth of Osiris, whose death and resurrection symbolizes the cycle of life, death, and rebirth. The Babylonian myth of the god Marduk, who defeats the dragon Tiamat and creates the world from her body. The Chinese myth of the Ten Suns, which represents the movement of the heavenly bodies and the cycles of the seasons. The Native American myth of the medicine wheel, which symbolizes the circle of life and the interconnectedness of all things. These myths and cosmological ideas are interpreted by the authors as expressions of a common language of symbolism that was once shared by many ancient cultures. According to the authors, this language was used to convey a deep understanding of the movements of the stars and the cycles of nature, as well as the human experience of birth, death, and rebirth. 